living in the flow. I'd love to share a little bit about the book that I wrote, which may be useful to people who maybe haven't read it or have access to it. So living in the flow is a guide to discovering your purpose and your value in this world. And if you do know your life purpose, it's still a valuable read because it's really about understanding what is your value and how do you make use of that value and export or punctuate that value out into the world to add value. So in the beginning of the book, there's two parts in the book, part one and part two. Part one is called your highest priority. What do I mean by that? This, by the way, came to me in a dream, which is explained in the book. The entire book came to me in a dream. And it was really this idea that, as Woody Allen says in his quote, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And this is very really true. When I was in my 20s, I was really looking at trivial kind of plans, self-indulgent plans, ambitious things about getting goals, achieving things, acquiring things. And if you take a bigger picture view, they really are very trivial. So what came to me was, I want to share with people, what are your true highest priorities if you want to live a happy and fulfilling life? And it's less about acquiring things or achieving things. And it's more about these three highest priorities. I'll give you a quick overview, and then I'll explain more of each of these in uh, subsequent videos. The first highest priority is to have an awareness of your constant connection to source energy, because you always are connected. In fact, you're a physical extension of source energy. The second one, which has to be your most important goal in life, is finding your life's purpose. The third highest priority is to develop your intuition. The single most important skill you can develop, and we all have intuition, whether we use it, trust it or not, we all have it. It's really our obligation to develop our intuition, trust it and use it. Now when all of these three priorities are in play, <clears throat> what you get are some overlappings here. So when you are aware of your connection to source and you found your life purpose, you then live on purpose. This is about being intentional in your life and doing things for a specific reason and to answer the question why you were born. There's that famous saying, the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and the day you know why. That's living on purpose. Then when you know your life purpose and you have developed your intuition, you then are guided through life. That's living a guided life. That's a fabulous chapter in the book. When we can tap into this, life really becomes much easier. It kind of is effortless because we know the difference between the right choice and the wrong choice, what decisions to take, what path to take in life to get us on the right road. And then if we are aware of our connection with source energy and we have developed our intuition, well then we do live really with faith. This is the power principle of all time. Faith, my friends, is the opposite of fear. Any fear. So living with faith is something you can learn and with awareness of your connection to source and using your intuition, this is where it plays out. And when all these six conditions are apparent in your life at the same time that's what I call living in the flow so in the next video I'll explain a bit more about the very next chapter otherwise my friends have a wonderful day and God bless